I am a public school teacher. This is my 22nd year teaching. I'm a professor in the Department of Kinesiology and Nutrition. I am a language arts teacher at Belleville West Junior High in Belleville, Illinois. Well, I wanted to be a teacher since I was in sixth grade. I felt that that was definitely my calling, that I was meant to be in academics and helping students. Every day I feel blessed to do my job. I am excited every morning to wake up and, and teach. I think it's the best job because there's so much excitement in you know, discovering new things. Knowing that they see you daily, that they're impacted by you daily, I think that's the fire that keeps all of the teachers going. We come from all walks of life. All backgrounds. No, we are not just teachers. We are teachers' aides, paraprofessional and school-related personnel, academic professionals, staff, and then public employees. The IFT brings us together. Together, our voice is louder. And our fight is stronger. Throughout our history, we fought many battles. The stakes were high. And the results changed the lives of thousands of families. Free and equal education. Safe working conditions. Collective bargaining. Better wages. Teacher tenure. Equality and respect for all. A seat at the table. UIC is a, is a research university. We had this major issue with a couple of buildings that house laboratories, safety equipments like you know, eye washes, this equipment was not available. Faculties had, for the past 20 years, requested and saying we do need this equipment, but nothing happened until, uh, until really the union got involved. Their issues were voice, respect at work, respect for their professionalism. They realized, rightly, that the best way to get that is to form a union and speak with a collective voice. All of a sudden, the safety equipment was finally installed. It's the first uh, Tier 1 research institution in the United States in 30 years to organize its faculty. Late October of last year, I had two community members approach me at a school event for my children, and they asked me if I would be willing to run for school board. I think it's really important that our community see us as union leaders who are not just out there for ourselves, but we're out there working for the community as a whole to make it better. The schools are constant laboratories from outside in of, of people who are not educators saying, well, let's do this and let's do that. Yet they're not qualified to do that. The IFT is heavily involved in Springfield. We have to be um, because that's where they make the laws. If we are not giving a voice to our educational issues, we are going to get trampled on as educators in our profession. Our members paid out of every paycheck for their pensions. Our members should not be made to pay for the misdeeds of politicians in years past. I am a vocal one for local one. Yes, I am a member of the Chicago Teachers Union. Back in 2012, teachers were unhappy. We wanted a better contract, and that's what we kept saying, a better contract. We were making people pay attention to what students go through. The decision to strike was very challenging. There is an uprising taking hold in the city of Chicago. Talks to reach a four-year contract broke off late Sunday night. It's the largest teacher strike this country has seen in more than two decades. And our members have been out there on the lines a number of times and making that ultimate sacrifice. Negotiations will resume tomorrow between striking teachers and negotiators for Zion Benton High School. A strike by the Illini Bluffs Federation of Teachers. Teacher strike in suburban Evergreen Park. Day one of a strike in Grays Lake. We say fight! We will walk the picket lines, we will talk to parents, we demand a fair contract now. It's about um, maintaining the integrity of this profession and the integrity of our schools for the children and the communities that we serve. We have to keep on fighting. The fight is not over, not, not, not by any means. We preserve tenure, preserved our right to collectively bargain and strike. One of our missions is to right the wrongs of those changes over the last few years. We have to do that. We have to do it for our professions and then the kids that we are trying to teach. We need to keep powering forward, championing public education and services, engaging younger members, forging community alliances, and advocating for a fair economy. Power forward means that we are empowered, first of all, to move forward on the paths that are going to be set before us. Power comes from our collective will and determining together as unions, what do we need to do? We are moving forward and not backward and that we're moving together. We're more powerful together. From the classroom to the university. To the streets. Standing together. Standing together from every background in one voice. 
because union rights, the rights of working men and women are American rights and they're human rights. We're just getting started for all of us. For fairness, for our future. We won't back down. Never have, never will. We power forward. Power forward. Power forward. IFT powers forward.